Good day, everybody. Hello, my name is Fizz. Welcome. Uh, this is an interesting video. Uh, this is the first video back to from from Australia. Uh, and uh, speaking of Australia, uh, this trailer for Path of Titans has Robert Irwin, which is hilarious because I literally just saw him a couple weeks ago uh, performing in the crocodile arena, uh, almost getting eaten by a crocodile. Hilarious stuff. But anyways, I wanted to do a full reaction of the Path of Titans uh, new Gonda trailer and I wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on that and obviously it's Robert Irwin I'm a big fan and I know he's a big fan of dinosaur stuff because at the crocodile arena which I'll have a vlog on top right it's not out yet but it will be in a couple weeks uh, of all the collections that this this kid has and he's only like 19 I think 19, 18 19 or something like that and he's got a huge collection collection of dinosaurs dinosuchus skull allosaurus skull raptor claws and stuff it's amazing he's got an incredible collection already so he's a big fan of dinosaurs and uh, I really wanted to do a face to face reaction of this so sit back relax let's dive into the trailer because I think it's going to be amazing I haven't seen it yet so uh, let's hope it's good All right, so uh, real quick, if you don't know what Path of Titan is, I in the top right, we have a bunch of videos, playthroughs. It's basically a kind of open world survival dinosaur game. And uh, it's really cool. You can play it on your Switch, your phone, you name it. Uh, I play on the PC and it's really good fun. Leveling up your little baby, starting as a baby and going up. It's really, really cool. So let's check this trailer out and uh, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Ooh, there's flying now. Oh, and water creature. That's I think that's like the big thing for this. Looks really good. Excited. There's Robert Odin. Good day. Your eyes. It's hilarious. Go on. Now, I want you to imagine. 65 million years ago. Sounds just like his dad. Wow, I'm really orange with this camera. On a brilliant, vibrant world. A home to many. Looks dope. Just about to start their day. Marcosauruses. Dios. From the mountainous cliffs. I don't know which kind of Tyrannodon those are. There's so many different names. To the distant shorelines. Sarkasukas. Stegos. Anki. Gondwa. Or oh, maybe not Anki, the other one. Roars to life. This planet, long before the shifting tides of the future, houses an ecosystem across generations of land. Air and water. A harmony. It looks dope. Within and throughout. Dude, Existing. army of shit. <laughs> However, caution beckons. That's not a brutal. What is that? Of surviving this harsh and untamable world. A reminder to be cautious. Let is that, fall to is the that Stitchy Murloc? All of this has been lovingly recreated. For you. Choose who to be. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. I probably do that for hours. What to do? That bird's OP. I'm not gonna lie. That bird is really OP. Super fast. Doesn't take fall damage. Oh man, OP. Where to fly?
venture out and discover the mystery of this old world. It looks amazing. So if I remember correctly, this is supposed to be a uh, the Ganda. So Ganda update. So let's pause this real quick. So I'm pretty sure the Ganda, Gan Ganda update is supposed to be uh, is uh, it's an is an island for say and all these new creatures and stuff. So it'll be really interesting to see. So uh, first take, obviously Robert Irwin, like I said earlier, uh, he's got a huge do uh, fossil collection and everything. So it was pretty cool actually that he's, uh, you know, voiceovering this and I just came back from Australia, you know? So it's actually a really cool thing. I literally, literally a couple weeks ago, I was at the Australian zoo. So, you know, and I saw him uh, playing around with the, the gator. So it's actually really incredible. Uh, but anyways, uh, for the update though, I so my main problem from when I was playing the game, okay, uh, the original main map was too massive, okay? The main map is way too massive. And for my honest uh, like opinion and criticism is that the maps needs the map needs to be smaller. Granted, if you want that map to be for uh, new people to get their barons and play the game, sure. But get people to play on a smaller map because the interaction with people were basically none and, and zero, right? I would join a popular server, which I think at the time almost had 200 people, but I guess it's 100 now for this server, which doesn't make any sense. Anyways, um, I couldn't find anyone half the time. So usually what I would, uh, what you should, what should probably happen is obviously making smaller servers and smaller maps. And that's what they've done with this update. Uh, which is really cool and incredible obviously they're bringing in a lot of aquatic creatures they're bringing flying creatures in now the pvp aspect right the game has a lot of pvp aspects where you can battle each other and stuff uh not the greatest but it was still entertaining um it's basically whoever has the better penguins basically um i don't know what this is what i don't even know what this creature is it, it looks like a it's like a rex but it's not it's not an it's not an allosaur obviously it's not a uh it's not a carno that's that looks like a Stitchy Murloc, kind of. Kind of looks like a Stitchy Murloc, but maybe a bigger version. But anyways, yeah, I'm excited for this game, and I just wanted to give my honest opinion on that because uh, obviously I'm back, and I wanted to make content for stuff that I I think is worthy, and I think this is incredible. So if you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow, and tell me if you want me to do another video of all the new creatures because I'm updating as we speak now because obviously I'm back from Australia, so I have a lot of things to update, so... It'll be a little bit, but I'll definitely take a look at everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll leave the link in the description for the full trailer if you want to rewatch it. But yeah, incredible. It looks incredible. Robert Irwin voicing over this. Pretty cool. Pretty damn cool.